guys, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I better put you up one little bit. One little drop. That's better. Yes, it is. So how are all my friends? I hope you're doing well. I'm hungry. I don't know about you, but go ahead. Get out whatever you're going to have for dinner. Let me know. Comment down below. Break out your drink, whatever that may be. My drink is... Hear that, guys? That is the Poland Springs water. The best! And my dinner shall be... Hey, guess who's in the house? It's Tapatia. It's Tapatia. He came for a visit. And we are having some organic purple corn tortilla chips. Yes. Nothing added, nothing, you know, the the same old thing, non-GMO and blah, 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 right? You hear it a hundred times from me. So, I have my nice, beautiful, I hope you can see that because the vegetables and the beans in here are just so plentiful. Look at this, my friends. Look at this. You see that? Oh, my. I can't wait to sink my teeth right in. I'm really hungry. And I had some um, tahini. Um, remember I made the tahini dressing? Go back to my one... Um, video actually I'll leave a link to it if you'd like and it shows you exactly how to make this tahini dressing and yeah so I wanted to use it up I didn't want to waste it you know why waste it I don't want to do that so I said I hope you're not tired of seeing me eating you know a salad or whatever but i have to use up the food i got my friends yeah i would like to be able to have something different every single night but guess what that's not going to buy me that vehicle i need now is it to go on my travels no it's not and we shouldn't really be wasting food anyway, right? You all agree with me? Okay. That's a pound. As my baby would say. Little Nino will say, give me a pound. So, <laughs> I learn well from my kids. Yes, I do. Oh, man. So, I really don't have a lot of lettuce in here at all. But look at that. Nice, right? Go on now. Don't be shy. Take a big bite of that because you know the deal. The rest is for me. Hmm. Hmm. Things always taste so much better when you're hungry, don't they? Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Let's put tapatia. He likes to be seen too, you know. So I already have I put my salad dressing in and I put my tapatia and everything in in the kitchen because I 
Oh, and I put lime in. I just take a half a lime and just squeeze it all in now. I was not going to do this mukbang. So I was all ready to sit my butt down in the kitchen, watch videos, and eat. But I didn't want you to see me eat salad again, you know? But I said my subscribers are not like that. They could care less what I'm eating. So, I hope that's true. So what I have in my salad is my canned black beans, fresh corn from the, the uh, farmer. And that's raw, of course. And then I have then I have um sorry, just watching some people outside. Then I have being nosy. Then I have in here lettuce and tomato. Okay. But what else do you need, right? Onion. I like when I say, you know, it's a hundred degrees out. It's not that bad today. It's mm, I don't know, probably near ninety. And it's like six o'clock in the evening and it's still very hot out. But when you see older people, it looks like a husband and a wife. who are about 80 with jackets on I know that they get cold faster than we do that's a, a given but it's 90 degrees out And they're walking, so they gotta be getting warmed up. I think sometimes they just don't know. Like my my elderly aunt will say to me when I go out. You know, we're in a, a heat wave, and she'll say, Don't forget to put your heavy coat on. I just say, Okay, I won't. Thank you.
because when they look outside, if it's gloomy or it's windy, it looks cold. If you remember a couple days ago, I was talking to you about when I get older, because I've lived this kind of life, taking care of people and dedicating my life, and I, I know the good and the bad with it. And I've always told my kids that I will not live with them. Unless I have nothing to say about it in the matter, mm-mm, it's not happening. So, I was out with my daughter today and we were talking and I was just saying, man, you know, it's so hard to get what I'm looking for, you know, um, for a vehicle. I mean, I have a vehicle. I have a small, very small vehicle. Near impossible to try to travel the country with sleep in and all that. Impossible. So I was saying to her today, that it's just been so, so difficult to find something that matches my price range and matches what I want to do. You know what I mean? So. I said, well, and so she said to me, Mom, if you can't find what you, what you need and all that, she said, you come live with me. I said, I told you a hundred times, and she's being nice, and I'm not trying to be mean. I said, but I told you a hundred times that will not happen. And she doesn't understand why. As much as I try to explain to her that I would never interfere in her, her
her life with her family, I say to her, If I have to, I will go live in a homeless shelter. So she got mad at me. Just told me how stubborn I am. She don't understand. It's not about being stubborn. It's not. I will never put anybody through. Especially my children. what happened to me in my life watching my family fall apart because there was just not enough of me to go around for everybody. And if you say oh you can do it and well you must be a, a, a super person you know because if you have a family and you have young children and a husband. And you're taking care of people that are full-time care. It's impossible. You just can't stretch yourself enough. Now my aunt is full-time care. She's not able to do anything really for herself. So my, my life is very limited because of it. And I don't regret it. I don't regrudge it I missed out on a lot of things yes but in another way it's fulfilled my heart But you give up quite a bit. If you have a family, I'm telling you. I don't care what anybody tells me. You got young children. Like my children, my children were younger. 11, 12, 13 years old. I could never go to their games. I could never go to school meetings. I could... And if you have siblings... 
they always say before you do it, oh, yes, we will help out 100%. Call them. <laughs> See how much they're helping out. It just don't work that way. If you don't have anybody, totally different story. For years now, I have to get up very early in the morning. I got to take care of myself first. Then I get my aunt up. I have to bathe her. I have to change her, dress her, bring her out, feed her. Give her her medications. By the time I know it, it's lunchtime. So now I'm doing lunch. Um. There's nights I get calls all night long. You know what I mean? Like, I need you. Okay. So don't tell me you can have young children and a husband. and cook for them and do everything that's needed. No, can't do it. Anyway. So my daughter is upset with me. She tells me I'm so stubborn because she doesn't understand. Um, her mother, she loves me. She wants to care for me. What, what can I say? My salad is delicious. And I'm stuck. But I'll still wind up eating most of the salad. Anyway, my friends, we're going to get to the end of this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and if you'd be so kind, you can share. That would be nice. Over here in the description box is my Twitter account, my Instagram, and my P.O. box. Write me a line. I'd certainly appreciate it. And don't forget the most important thing. Ring that bell. Give it a little ding-a-ding-ding and become a part of our notification family. Till I see you tomorrow, God bless and in all my love your way. And I'll be seeing you.